Hello everyone, I'm Doc Hyun Choi and I'm Ha Jun Song. We are here to introduce our recent work, which was done in collaboration with Professor Ki Ju Chang. The purpose of this video was to describe our work to a broad, non-specialist readership. Our work reveals the effect of substrate on the electronic properties of MOS2. So what is MOS2 and what is the meaning of our work? Let's find out. Recent development of novel two-dimensional materials provides the opportunity for the ultimate thin channel device concepts. 2D materials include metallic graphene, insulating hexagonal boron nitride, and semiconducting black phosphorus, and as well as transition metal dichycotonides. Interestingly, the electronic properties of transition metal dichycotonides are quite diverse depending on their crystal structure and layer thickness. Especially, MOS2 provides an interesting physical phenomena, so-called the valley polarization. The valley polarization emerges due to the unique structure of the monolayer MOS2 that lacks the inversion symmetry. What is even more interesting is that in bilayer MOS2, the inversion symmetry is present, and therefore the valley polarization disappears, in principle. However, for the practical applications, one must consider the effect of the substrate. And most of the field effect transistors use silicon oxide as a substrate. An understanding of the hybrid structures of MOS2 with silicon oxide are important for both applications and for fundamental studies. Our study investigates the effect of silicon oxide surface on the electronic properties of MOS2. We have considered various surface conditions including defect-free surface, bare silicon or bare oxygen polar surface, or the surfaces with single silicon or oxygen dangling bonds. In this video, we would like to highlight the results of the surface with a single oxygen dangling bond. Let's think of a freestanding bilayer MOS2. As mentioned, the inversion symmetry is there and the valley polarization is absent. However, when MOS2 is on top of the substrate with oxygen dangling bonds, something different happens. Due to the interaction, electron charges are transferred from MOS2 to silicon oxide. And the dipole field induces the potential difference between the top and the bottom layers. Therefore, the inversion symmetry is now broken and the valley polarization can emerge. Now we look at the schematic band structure. In the presence of oxygen dangling bond, dipole fields induce the potential difference between the top and the bottom layers and thereby resulting in the band separation. Under optical excitation with right circularly polarized light, the interband transitions occur in both K and K prime valleys. And as a next step, at the K point, the spin relaxation through the interlayer scattering takes place. However, at the K' prime point, now the spin relaxation is suppressed due to the energy barrier from the top and the bottom layer. Therefore, the photoluminescence emission with left-hand polarization is suppressed at the K' prime point and the degree of circular polarization becomes non-zero. To summarize, we have shown that the valley polarization could appear when bilayer MOS2 is deposited on the silicon oxide substrate, which is in fact agrees with the experiments. Okay, now, Ha Jun Song, who's the first author of this paper, will talk about the significance of this work. For the first time, we are presenting the calculation leisures of MS2 deposit on substrate with the spillover interaction, interactions fully taken into account. We think that our leisures will provide a viable strategy for engineering MS2 based devices. Okay then, thank you for watching this, and we hope you enjoyed this video. And again, we strongly recommend you to download this paper and look up for the details. Thank, thank you. you.